How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, the one and only Chaos Gamer, and we are back with more My Hero Academia Ultra Impacto. And today, we are going to be going over the Sensei of Class 1A, aka our boy Aizawa. Now, we're going to take a look at the yellow Aizawa. This is the yellow one, the good version of the Aizawa so far in the game. This Aizawa, um, he is good with his plus ultra, definitely. But I'm going to review him first, and then we're going to talk about him at the end. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's blow this shit right up. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the video. So what does the Aizawa do? Let us talk about it. So the plus ultra skill is known as the capture combo. It inflicts 550% damage to a single enemy. Removes all buffs from attacked enemy and medium chance to seal skills for two turns. Do you know how crazy that sounds? Just from that plus ultra alone. If you're fighting up against a one boss enemy and if you're able to do that to them, if they don't have no restrictions to where, you know, they're not able to get their buffs removed and they are, that sounds crazy as hell. So if you can remove the damage reduction, their attack boost, their speed boost, their defense boost, it's basically a wrap for them. They're basically sitting ducks. Now, his first action skill, which is known as the Blinding Kick, it inflicts 300% damage to a single enemy, randomly removes one buff from the attacked enemy, and the cooldown is 5 turns. This is good, but my only problem is that it's one buff and it's random. It's not like the buff you want. So, I wish like for that they could change that. Maybe like, you know, like an attack debuff or a defense debuff or a speed... I'm mean, sorry, because he's removing buffs. He's not debuffing them, sorry. So, like, if he removes, like, an attack buff or, like, a defense buff or a speed buff, a crit buff, whatever. Like, not one random buff. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wish it was more specific. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's one buff that's getting removed. So, you know, hopefully it's not a buff that's useless. The second action skill, which is known as the Capture Cloth, it inflicts 300% damage to a single enemy. When used in a chain of two or more and succeeds, has a medium chance to seal skills for two turns. Again, he is getting that chance. And the condition is six turns. That is good, sealing these skills for two turns for a single enemy. So let's say you're on like PvP and you're going up against like a Hado and you don't want her to heal the characters. You basically get to attack her, and if you get that chance of sealing, she's not going to be able to use her skills for two turns. And then you could try to finish her off as well. That's what makes this Aizawa so good the ability to seal skills and try to remove buffs from characters as well. Now, his first auto skill, which is known as the No Good Hero, is one trick pony. Um, increases pro hero allies power by 20% so he is a support type for pro heroes so you want to use him on a pro hero team for example like if you're using him with Endeavor and Hawks that's a perfect example or if you're using him with somebody like All Might or um well the pro hero is good in the game right now not a lot of pro heroes actually wow I'm thinking about it that you are not a lot of pro heroes we need more pro heroes in the game um, but yeah, those type of pro heroes you can use in the, um, with this Aizawa and he will able to give them an attack boost and it'll just be more damage. And then as for the second auto skill, Tough Fight, when HP is 50% or less, he increases his own speed by 30%. So he's going to be faster when his HP is lower than 50% um, HP. Now, his skills is like I said, is like a little bit, but mind you, he did come out. When the game first came out so they were gonna give him a lot despite him being a ur but this is i was still relatively good with what he's got so let's head into our first piece of content that we're going to be taking the aizawa into which is going to be the what did i do with the last time i did a hawks the last time from because no i didn't do hawks the last time i did we mission bakugo and we took him into the v tower balls first so we're gonna head into the usj mode first and we are going to see how our boy can do against the boss fight so we'll be right back after this Alright guys, so for our first piece of content, we are going to be taking the Aizawa in. It is the USJ mode, and we are taking him on against Present Mike. Now, I do have it at level 3 because I haven't unlocked the other levels yet. So, once we do another yellow character, like I always say, we'll show them at the level 5. But the level 3 has a lot of HP, so he will be surviving hits as well. He is no bitch, like I always say. So, we're going to be relatively fine. And the team that we are bringing into this fight is going to be um, as followed. Wait, can I find another Aizawa real fast? Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Okay, level 90. That'll do. Both of mine are level 90, so that's good. Okay, so we are bringing the Yellow Omit. We are bringing the Endeavor, who did come out for the World Hero Celebration. And we are bringing the Aizawa with backup just in case. But let's head into our fight. Now, let's see what this Aizawa is able to accomplish in here. Okay. Ah, boy, President Mike. I feel like President Mike should get a UR. A free-to-play UR? Or, or, or you are like I, it'll be funny just to see his animations again. All right, 
Let's do this. We'll start with our first action skill and then go on from there. Actually, no. I want to get the plus ultra with all might and then we'll do this. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we did 36k. Good damage. Good damage. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Mind you, he is getting the support as well from himself, I'm assuming. Because it doesn't say all other allies except him. It's pro heroes in general. So, we're going to be seeing our guys hit for a lot of damage. Okay, so let's do this now. Let's combine up our things. Okay, so how much is he doing here? He did 22k. Okay, okay. Nothing crazy. 39k from All Might and then 16k from the from the yellow All Might. Okay. I'm sorry, not yellow All Might. My bad. I meant to say the yellow Endeavor. But let's do our plus ultras with these guys. And then after that, we'll just do our plus ultras with the other two Aizawas. Okay, how much is All Might doing? How much are you doing, All Might? All Might did 39k there. Okay. And that's what's the boost, I'm assuming. And then how much is this? 20k. Got it, got it. Okay. 4,000 on the normal. Now let's compare the damage between the two. So this is the first Aizawa. This is the friend Aizawa. Okay, so how much is this doing? That did 27k. Now how much is my Aizawa doing? Mind you, the support member, he also has his boosting him as well. 33k. Okay, so we did a little bit more than the other one. That's good. I always love to see that. When my character does more damage than the friend character, that is obviously more boosted. That is a very good sight to see. Okay, so how much are we doing here again? This time we did 36k critical hit. Okay, he, Aizawa's doing good damage. He is doing good damage. For someone that's at the 300% boost, he is doing very good damage. Okay, I am liking this. Okay, I'm at 21k. Let's try to get his plus ultra one more time. And then after we get his plus ultra one more time, we'll try to switch up the content and then go into the next mode that we'll be taking our boy. So, that did 20k. Okay, okay. Mind you, with the second skill, you do want to use it in a chain of two or more. So you can get that effect of trying to seal their skills. So that was my bad on my part. I should have waited until later once they got their skills. But it doesn't matter, really. We just wanted to see the damage. Okay, let's do this. Boost you. And then we'll do this. 9,000. Okay, what are you doing? Why are you screaming at me, bro? Chillax. We can all hear you just fine. Ah, shit. Poor Endeavor. Okay, okay. Let's keep going. Um... Okay, we'll activate this, we'll activate this, and then after that, Aizawa's going to get his plus ultra on the next turn. 24k there, okay. Alright, damage. If it crits, it does a lot. Okay, so we'll do this, this, and this. Alright, let's go. Come on, Aizawa. Show us what you got. Let's see if you can finish them off. How much is damage? Come on, come on, come on, come on. 40k. 33k, okay, okay. So Oma's gonna be able to finish them off. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, actually, no, Oma's not able to finish them off. Shit, because he got sealed. Holy shit. Damn it, All Might. Come on, dude. Okay, nah, he's dead. We're we'll just... Oh, damn. Actually, never mind. I'm glad Zawa gets to finish it off. Good shit. Oh, that's smooth. That's a smooth finish right there. Good shit. All right, so the guys, Zawa is doing impressive damage. Now, we didn't get to see if he actually did steal the enemy's um, buffs or not. We didn't get to see that. So... In the next event that we're going to, which is going to be the VE Tower Box, which they always start out with buffs, especially when they go to the Destroy Mode, we'll be able to see if Aizawa was able to get rid of their buffs once he does get his plus ultra, and hopefully he does not die in that matter. So that being said, we'll be right back with VE Tower. Alright guys, so for our next piece of content, we are in the VE Tower Box, and this time we're going to be taking on the yellow, I mean sorry, the purple Ome. And we are going to see how we fare at the S rank difficulty. Now, we are bringing the same team as last time. Especially since this time, our Endeavor is going to get a little bit more of a boost due to the fact that he is boosted in this VE Tower Boss. So that being said, let's head into our second showcase of the Aizawa. Okay, so hopefully Aizawa does show off here. Especially since the enemy does get more buffs here. And especially since it's all might as well. Alright. I want you to show me your buffs right now. So I want to see if I can steal off his skills first turn, since we do have the chain at the ready. Actually, no, I'm gonna save his. I'm gonna do this because it says two or more. So I want to be safe and leave it at last. So let's do this. Okay, so that did nine thousand there. Damn, this guy is tanky as hell. Okay, so we did eight thousand damage. He does have the damage reduction, so we do need to try to get rid of that damage reduction. Let's see if that does work with the plus ultra. That is the goal right now. Okay, so we debuffed him. We did eight thousand there again. Damn, these bosses are always so tanky. I mean, that's a good thing, but sheesh, man. Can we relax with every single final boss being tanky as hell, man? Ah, right, come on, All Might. Let's see how much damage you're doing. Because, again, we do want to see what the buff that Aizawa is giving. So, he did 14k there. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm glad we did it. Wait, damn, 23k? Holy shit. Somebody did 23k, and I don't even know who it was. 
Okay, okay, he's buffing himself now. But luckily, now that we do have the plus ultra at the ready, we can see if this buff will go away or not. So come on, Azawa, show off, let's go. How much is this doing? That did 9,000, and yes, the defensive buff is away now. So how much is All Might doing now? All right, come on, All Might, show me, please. I didn't even get to see shit. Oh, he healed! Shit, I forgot this All Might heals once. Shit, but we still didn't do that much damage as I would like to shit. Oh. So let's just go back to the drawing board right here. Go with his speed. 9,000 damage. And then 18,000 on a crit right there. I need I need him to crit. I need Aizawa to crit. Oh, damn. We got a plus ultras again. Then, oh, sure. Why not? Let's go. I'm down for that. Do not attack my Aizawa, you stupid bitch. Do not do that. Stop. Okay, that did 16 keys. 16k. And then all my... I'm going to tell you, bro. That should have removed all his buffs. Again. Wow, I didn't remove it. What the hell? Damn it. That means he still has the damage reduction. Yeah, we're doing like no type of damage at all. Okay, let's do this. 6,000. Alright, we'll just try to show off him one more time with his skills. And then we'll just go on to the next piece of content with our boy Aizawa. Okay, so how much is this doing? 8,000. Yeah, it, it just sucks that all these bosses have damage reduction. So it's like we can't really see him at his best right there. Plus, with the plus ultra, it wasn't removing his um his damage reduction either. So, he's still going to have it regardless. Let's just do this. Okay, lower his speed. And then, all my did 16k. Okay, so we'll just finish it off right here. Let him do his plus ultra for the last time. And then, after that, we're going to take him to his, our last piece of content. Which is going to be the um ultra arena. Okay, stop. As long as you're not attacking my Zawa, that is fine, though. Damn, I'm sorry, all my you got cooked for free like real estate. I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, so let's see, Aizawa. Show us what you got for the last time. So he, Midoriya did 11k there. Okay. And then Aizawa did 19k on a critical hit. Okay, okay. So let's go take him to our final piece of content, which is going to be, again, the Ultra Arena. So we'll be right back after this. All right, guys, here we are in our final piece of content for the video, which is going to be the Ultra Arena. Now, we do have our Aizawa at the front, ready to go and taking them on in battle. So hopefully we do get to go first and then we are able to see if Aizawa is going to be able to seal one of the enemy's attacks that we are going to try out. So let us head into it. Hopefully we can seal, man, because, you know, his first rotation is looking kind of crazy. And I do want to see that Ouro Rocket if she is in the front. Yeah, okay, okay. So I want to see the Ouro Rocket. That is the threat right now. Shigaraki's not really a problem. Todoroki, um, he does have the chance to burn or freeze, but it's only for one turn. Or Rocket is the main threat because she could give evasion plus her counter as well. So let's do this, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. All right. Let's see, let's see. Okay, good damage. We are getting the boost, mind you. We are getting the boost. 7,000 because she does have damage cut. But I don't get to see whether it's sealed right now. Hold on. Did we seal her skills or not? Let's see, let's see. Yes, we did. Nice, nice, perfect. So now we are able to take out the um Uraka, and then we'll focus on another character right after. So come on, let's go. Let's finish her off. GG, she's got, she's done. Okay, nine thousand. We did ten k there, and then we did fifteen k to the Shoto. Now, next character we do want to try to steal if we do get the second action skill again is going to be the Bakugo, because the Bakugo does have blindness, and we don't need that. Oh damn, we got frozen. Shit, <laughs> he's stuck there. Come back, come back as well. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so we'll do this and this, and we'll attack the Shigaraki Squirt just to get him out the way. Just hopefully they don't attack my damn Aizawa. Because I hate when I get the plus ultra, they always attack the character that I'm trying to showcase. Okay, Shigaraki is dead. And thank God it was only on one character, it wasn't two characters. Okay, okay, okay. GG. Bye bye. Damn, 21k, that was good damage. Okay, one more turn, and then we're able to get his plus ultra. Okay, nice, 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 nice. And we're going to try to remove the Midoriya's buff. Because I know he has buff. And plus, he hits very, very hard. So, we need that gone. All right, all right, go, go, go. Okay, good, good. Okay, now that we have the plus ultra, and on the next turn, we do have the second action skill. Let us use this right now. Okay, let's go. Come on, team. Okay, 25. That's good. Good AoE damage right there. Oh, damn. 10k on us, Chris. Oh, I forgot. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no, it's still here. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, my God. I got scared there for a second. Holy shit. Because if you guys don't know, Midoriya does get evasion for one turn. 
but I think we did hit him before that happened. So thank God we were able to finish off the, the Midoriya. I swear to God, I was like, damn it. Even when I, I have the character surviving, some she's going to have to go down where I can't show who the damn plus Ultra in Ultra Arena. But that was very good from the Aizawa. Able to be sealing the Uraraka did get us the advantage there because they did not get the evasion at all. And she did not get the counter, meaning we all didn't have to attack her and then just deal with the fact that we are doing no damage to her. So in the end, this Aizawa impressed in Ultra Arena. So let's head back into the um, main screen and we'll talk more about the Aizawa and my overall aspects with the character. Alright guys, so my overall thoughts with the Aizawa. I feel like this Aizawa, okay, so with bosses, I, I feel like it depends. I, I really don't know because if... Because I thought he was going to be able to remove the damage reduction but he didn't remove the damage reduction from the enemy. So it was like... That was my main aspect, but if the characters do have a lot of buffs and this Aizawa is there at the ready, he is able to get rid of them with his plus ultra with ease. Plus the fact that he is able to seal skills is already what makes him so good in the game. Especially if you want to take him into ultra arena because if you lock down that one character that you know is a threat and you could just kill them instantaneously, then you're basically chilling for free. Like let's say for example like we did with the Oraka, they have a Haro and she's going to use her first um, action skill. Then you're able to negate that due to the fact that you are using Aizawa's second action skill, but mind you, it does have a medium chance, so it could miss as well, so don't forget that as well. But it's good that he has that there in his kit, plus that he's able to remove one buff from the enemy. That's also good to have. I just wish it was a selective buff or two buffs that he's able to remove. But with that, before we end up today's video, I do want to do a single on the new Shoto Todoroki banner, and then we'll call it quits from there. But let me know your overall thoughts on how you felt about the Aizawa in this video. Let me know if you do use this Aizawa for PvP. Maybe use them for um, VE Tower Boss or Ultra Arena. You guys let me know. Because I know this Aizawa is very up there with a lot of people. Because of the fact that he's able to steal skills for two turns. But you guys can let me know. Maybe you have some different opinions about the Aizawa. He did do good damage as well. He did like around the 30k's. One crit did like a 40k. When I was using him before we started the video. But yeah, this guy's out generally impressed. He's generally impressed with what he's able to do. Okay, and this is going to be a ultimate shaft. But with that, that is basically it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always greatly appreciated. Also subscribe. And with that, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.